Yo, what up, what up, family, fellow riders, oh, what does my boy Yogi Steve say? Fellow pioneers of human transport something, transportation. <laughs> uh, welcome to the channel, where I'll talk about all things food delivery. I'm getting started here in the, uh, with platinum mode. <coughs> the fuck? Honking at me, lady? I think I spooked her hitting that corner. I'm uh, working here in the Hollywood Silver Lake Market. First market out of downtown LA since I got platinum status. Again, I got it yesterday with the last few deliveries of the day. This is my 104th delivery, so I gotta stay above 100. But I'm just obviously I'm gonna keep going up and up and up because. I'm not gonna plan on. I'm gonna take a day off this weekend. Throwing one of my siblings a little birthday party at my house. So you know I need a whole day to clean before, clean after, and obviously party. Uh, other than that, uh, next week, next week I'm going somewhere. I don't know yet. Where you guys think I should go? I want to go to San Diego because it's only two fa two hours away from me. But actually, like, stay over there. Then there's uh, San Francisco, but that's a mission. Orange County, I could always just drive over. There's an hour away. And then there's all these little markets. Santa Barbara. The last time I went, it was dead, but I didn't have platinum status. I really didn't wait too long. And I can't really remember what day I went. But Santa Barbara seems like a nice neighborhood. It almost reminds me like of like Sacramento. I get Sacramento vibes there. But anyway, other than that, it's Friday. Later on today, I'm going to join a group ride. I think it's called Zipping Through the Hills or something like that. It's gonna be scooters, 100, 100 cc and up. We're just gonna be riding through the hills. I've seen the route already, it looks pretty fun. I'm gonna meet a bunch of other dudes that like to go on group rides and scooters. Because I posted in the Crank Coaster group, but dudes do not are not into that. Alright guys, uh but thanks for joining. Let's get this money. I hear my first delivery. It's one of these uh buildings here. First delivery down. What is this? Scott hot scotch? How do you play this shit? I still remember. Bam. Where's my prize? So uh, when I pulled up to the McDonald's, uh, there was uh, someone there with a Honda Monkey. Homie Richard, he, I, I saw him open the, he had the backpack, the V-Set 140. I saw him open it and I saw the uh, the kit, the backpack. He bought the V Set 140 Pro, which is basically the setup that I have. And um, he got it on my website. And I always like asking people, like, how how is it for them, right? Like, so I asked him, "Oh snap, you got the kit? Cool. What do you think? How has it been so far?" He's like, "City he likes it. It's a game changer." And I love to hear that. I'm like, yes. And I had to ask him, what, what, what would you like fix? And um, the only thing is that the adhesive on the panel, the, the silver panel, it like gets unstuck because it's I taped it onto the aluminum looking material. So I got to get like a big old staple gun, <sighs> like a buttons, almost like a, what do you call those? Yeah, and so that way it was more secure. Little things like that. But it was nice to see the, the beast set in action here in Hollywood. East Hollywood. Alright, so I'm here driving around Hollywood. I haven't gotten any pings. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best idea. But yeah, I'm here on, on Wilcox and Yucca Street. 
you can tell a lot of this place is old like like this was built in the I don't know what year but the architecture of these buildings look like it's been around here probably the same age as the Broadway buildings probably like a hundred years old this one's new on the right this one's old that one's new this one's hello on the left all right well this is Hollywood Boulevard I was here yesterday for a quick quick brief second I did like one or two deliveries then I got one going all the way back to downtown LA and then called it a night after that actually I hit top dash here with uh, these two deliveries that ended up over here but yeah if it doesn't work out I'll just keep going west to West Hollywood I think that's what I'm gonna do anyway I'm gonna go south and then make a right like on one of these big boulevards probably Santa Monica all right this first delivery I got was a bad one 10 bucks for like six miles south I'm end up in Culver City a whole different market So I'm going to end the dash that I had for Hollywood and I'm just going to start it in Culver. I should just like accept everything, see where it takes me. <clears throat> you know what, I'll do that. Why not? Since I got platinum status now. Let's accept every delivery no matter how far it takes me. Let's do it. I'm probably going to change my mind later. <laughs> We got some Culver City drama here. Who's getting arrested? What happened? Alright, well anyway, I'm two minutes away from this delivery. I want to knock this thing out. See if I have better luck here. In the city of CC. Over city. I just made that up. I don't know if there is actually known by CC. City of CC. Sounds kind of cool actually. Doesn't make sense though. So. Culver City. Oh boy, stuck. Let's see if these guys push it out the way. happened with his car yo all right well <clears throat> I was thinking of jumping out and helping him push the car but I don't know what's if his thing is that he's stuck or what's the issue I think this Jeep's gonna go back try to help him nope never mind <laughs> All right, well, I'm on uh, Venice Boulevard here in Culver City. There's a hot spot, apparently. But I am not getting hit. But uh, this street takes you straight to the beach. Let's keep going straight. Looks like we have a whole street closure due to this street fair they got that in the, the notorious ride the zipper that shit is dope <laughs> it's like uh, your cart rotates on this thing that goes up and down while the entire thing is rotating and your your uh, cart is, is just flipping freely so kind of hard to explain but I'm sure you guys heard of the zipper that thing's been around forever it's always had those carnival rides it's uh it was always my favorite even as a little ass kid I was like yeah let's go man that was car almost crashed that would have been your fault you guys saw that crash that just happened right in front of me they were like inches away well, anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going west. 
Oh yeah, so <clears throat> well, I'll take us in a bit. Double for 15. Going back to like West Hollywood. So it's kind of cool. I just hope there's an alley here that I can cut through to go to the street. Or at least a sidewalk. Can I go on the sidewalk? Yeah, looks like I could. And then uh, the street com comes out over here on the right. Yes. And then I gotta go on the other side. But the way I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna go in this McDonald's parking lot. Gotta be slick. Uh oh. And then make a left here. <laughs> oh, yeah, so what I was gonna tell you guys is that uh, I started watching this uh, YouTuber that goes by the name of squid motard i believe something like that man i might be getting it wrong but he's cool he like kind of has like this style where he just he just like goes on these adventures and just documents it and he has a channel where he posts all his raw videos he has a channel where he posts all his like edits something that i've been wanting to do but i just can't get to the editing part but anyway one of his videos it's just him doing this thing called Scooter Cannonball. I'm like, what is Scooter Cannonball? Scooter Cannonball is basically this scooter ride with uh, engines between 50cc all the way up to 300cc and they have to be like in a scooter style. You have to meet this criteria. You can't take a motorcycle. You know, you can't just go on one of those. You gotta get something that's like has a step through and has a single cylinder there's like this whole criteria right all right so anyway they ride huge rides i'm talking about like cross country type stuff like i so i was looking at their website right now so where's the ride god i want to find info on it registration riders so it's gonna take place next year literally a year from now but registration opens tomorrow and every two years they do it by yearly so every two years they change up the the route it takes them a whole year to plan i think this time they're going from seaside oregon and they're going to end up in texas and i love that route because it's not like on the east coast i'm still kind of relatively close to home you know like i'll ride to texas Oh, and I'll ride to Oregon. So basically, the way it will work is you, I'll have to ride from here to Oregon, and then and then join the ride, and then from Texas, I gotta find my way back home, which is you know it's not even that far; it's halfway across the country. So anyway, they ride through scooters. They would do about uh, 400 miles a day on average, which is wild because I have done 200 miles. I've done 300 miles in a day pretty long it's pretty crazy but 400 and then through unknown weather conditions either way to me it just sets off all these like to me that type of stuff is exciting registration opens tomorrow and it costs 500 bucks i thought it was way cheaper but it makes sense it's a huge organization like it's, it's a huge event hello i will pick up for julia All right, thank you. Oh, this thing's heavy. Thanks, guys. And then, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you guys now. I'll be. I've been thinking about it. I got the money. So I'm gonna register tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And I feel like this will be something very difficult to try to convince my peers to do. So all I could do is uh, tell y'all about it and hopefully you guys join but if not I'm sure I'll meet a lot of like-minded individuals in the actual ride and on the way up towards it I'm gonna try to find people in Los Angeles that 
do this. Oh, shit, I gotta pick up my panda. Damn, where am I gonna put the panda? I don't wanna put it on top because it'll smash the cookies. I'll figure it out right now. Oh, I know how I'm gonna do it. I got just the idea. Some pickups? Yeah, for daddy. Daddy? This ride is going to be... What the hell? I was getting an offer. Damn it. Just a cup? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Alright. Uh, hold on, guys. Alright, check this out, guys. <clears throat> so, I got this big old box right here, right? With sweets. But I also I just got another order with a soda. So the way I'm gonna organize this in here, stick the adhesive back there, put the drink in here, and uh, I'm gonna put my panel here. Put the food here, and then I'm going to also put the panel on this side. Bam! Squeeze this together. Make sure the adhesive is in there nice and tight. And it creates this like T up here. And then this I'm gonna slide up on top. Now, Pizza is not as heavy as this, so usually I have no issues. But then this is gonna stick to this. So this one is gonna be experimental it's desserts what's the worst that could happen it'll tip over and tilt over to one side but it should hold it uh, i haven't had not one pizza or two pizzas i've had two pizzas stacked up there and those things do not become undone so let's see if that's the case for this one we're gonna have to go pretty far let's see So Panda Express, well, actually, the Panda Express delivery is not that far. So after I deliver it, I'm going to take it down and lay, lay it flat. We'll see if it survives this one mile ride. Y'all saw how the guy uh, handed me the cup and the food. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm playing dumb on like just the cup. He's probably like, what? Yeah, but it was cool with him. He actually got the cup. He's like, let me just fill this up. Like this, so this guy don't know nothing. <laughs> so I actually got to. Man, what are these guys waiting for? Oh, got the green light. And he filled up the Dr. Pepper. So sweet. So, anyways, like I was saying, guys, that that uh. That shit just sounds like uh, exciting. So you ride your scooter about 400 miles a day for eight days straight, and you got like different uh, uh, like checkpoints. It's like it's like a it's like a race. It's a multi-point race. You race uh, with people in your tiers, like uh, like your CCs, your your engine size, and you guys you guys can start early, whatever you want. I mean, obviously, the earlier the better. And you have you you start as soon as you take the first picture. There's an app that you give they give you to download. You take a picture and you check in on the GPS and that's your start time. And then you gotta go to all these checkpoints, pull over, take a picture, and then uh, same thing, check in the GPS and all that. And you just keep doing that at every checkpoint. And there's bonus points. So if you wanna go like off-roading, there's also those checkpoints. And then at the end, when you finish, you get a time. And the, the, depending on how long it took, you get an X amount of points. And then you have a leaderboard. So you'll be competing with all these different people. Now the race part is kind of cool. I think that, that, that adds a little like, you know, you get to kind of shit talk a little bit with your peers, kind of like compete with each other, you know, a little trash, trash talk always makes it fun the competitive the competitiveness is there but for the most part 
I mean, if anyone's doing this, it's because they really love to ride. And just having that ride all along the Sierra Mountains. It's basically, I haven't seen the, the route route, but Arizona to Texas, are you kidding me? Like, any, any route to get to Texas looks like it'll be pretty amazing. It's just nothing but mountains. We might even hit the Grand Canyon. Who knows? I've never been to the Grand Canyon. It sounds like an awesome ride. I think it's worth the 500 bucks, but it's not just gonna be 500 bucks. Obviously, you're gonna add either. Oh yeah, I didn't get to this part. So when you, once you get to the destination, you either get a hotel or you camp. You get a tent and you go find a campground somewhere a dispersed camping or a legit campground I would like to lean more to the camp camping because I think camping is pretty awesome and maybe hit a shower like two out of the eight days you know we're gonna be smelly and uh, obviously I'll document the whole thing for the channel that's that's gonna be a, a mandatory that's gonna be mandatory oh shit passed it let me know what you guys think scooter cannonball look it up google it if you guys are down to join i will say get on the registration because there's limited spots and the most lucky they're gonna get filled up oh look someone painted the the tees here on the ground so people don't double park <laughs> kind of smart It uh, was able to support it. There's maybe like five pounds. All right, so I'm actually gonna drop uh, panda panda's food off. So just put the panels back. Just slide this back in there. Sweet. It survived. I'm here in uh, Beverly Hills. This is where I dropped off. And uh, I was driving around for a bit with both apps on. I wasn't getting anything. I got a nine, $9.50 plus order, which was, which said catering for some reason. I don't know why it would say catering. It's from Sweetfin. It's literally just seven items. It's a tuna bowl, a build your own poke bowl, salad another bowl another bowl another bowl so seven bowls how much you think it's gonna be I think it's still gonna be just 10 bucks not expecting much let's add it man I haven't made anything I've only made $41 so far that's terrible my strategy is not working It's all in there, huh? All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You too. All right. This is the catering order here. Sweet. And then uh, I got another offer for 11 bucks. I'm like, don't mind if I do. It's right down the street. Stick this in here. Perfect. Put the panel so this thing doesn't tip over. Now this is Grav. Uh, it's a C Sunrite Studio, I believe. Yeah, Sunrite T Studio. Block away. Cool. So this potentially turned into a twenty plus. Well, it is a twenty. This was eleven bucks. This was ten. So it's twenty one dollars. But there might, there might be a, a tip in in here there may be in the uh, catering one dun, 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 dun. this thing should be coming up on the left somewhere where you at Sunrise Studio. Oh, I'm trying to spot it. I'm trying to spot it. Oh, there it is. Bam. 
can I make a left here? You know what? I saw a cop back there. Just gonna play it safe and do a a UE right here. Right now. <laughs> ah. Here we are. I gotta block one of these cars. I'm gonna just. Oh, you know what? I kind of fit right here. Somewhat. It is just three items. Shake 17 times. Hello. It's three. All right. Thank you. Less than a minute. This is looking at, it's a cool machine. Even if it gets wet, it still steals it, huh? Yeah, it, it's, uh, it doesn't get wet around it. It's just like, and we have to wipe all of them. Okay, so That's cool. That's dope. I want one. Hey, look at all these drinks going out. I got the drinks. Just gonna lay them down. They're sealed anyway. Although, probably a better idea if I just stand them up right, huh? Nah, that's cool. I'm gonna test their machine and see how well they actually seal the. Have you guys ever had one of those spill on you? The sealed boba drinks? I think as long as I don't hit no crazy bumps. I'll be all right. All right, order confirmed. Wow. Okay, both going same thing there. Uh, same, uh, same area, kind of. So here we are in Century City, and I gotta deliver to one of these big buildings. I believe it's going to be one of these two. I should turn left. Alright, let's see. How can you go there? So, me, the fir first time delivering to one of these buildings. They're huge. Oh, I see the entrance there. Alright, sweet. No Uber, Lyft, or taxi. Well, I'm none of those. Let's see what these guys say. All right, he pointed right here, so <laughs> sweet. All right, this is for the catering order. Every time I go into these corporate offices, it's hilarious to see. It's hilarious to see people's reaction when they see you, because you know everyone's usually dressed business casual or or maybe super, you know, suit tie, whatever. Then you got this motherfucker walking out the elevator with a big ass helmet on, with a whole ass camera slapped to the front of it covered up face to toe all you can see is motherfuckers eyeballs some people probably get spooked they're like oh shit Sp SWAT team <laughs> some people probably just find it hilarious and to be honest that shit is kind of ridiculous when you think about it I mean you see a motorcyclist in the street cool yeah helmet uh, ski gear whatever some people got the boots and everything gloves I mean, it really doesn't really stand out too much. But when you're in a corporate office in the hallway, what all you do sit at the reception desk all day, you deal with like answering phone calls and just greeting people and helping people out. Then out of nowhere, fucking RoboCop Terminator walks into the hallway. You're like, what? You can see it in their face. They're like trying to contain themselves. It's kind of hilarious. 
I'm like, shit, I'll laugh too. I would say something though. I'll say some snarky comment. I'll be like, damn, bro, you had me thinking it was Judgment Day or something. Coming in here like that. <laughs> that's just me though. Hey, there's a bunch of construction. I think they're building a, a underground rail here. Oh, and that's probably just for this building. Damn, this building looks sick. Steel. Ooh. So dope. Alright, anyway. It's lunchtime right now. I need to go deliver these bobas and get back on it. Oh, I didn't even see how much I got for that last delivery. Oh shit, did I complete it? Yeah, it did. I didn't even see if I got a little extra. Oh, I ended the dash too. Let's see. Earnings. Did y'all hook me up or what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's today? Friday. Oh shit. 32 bucks. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I needed because I was falling behind. So this thing uh, was only 10 bucks. Like I said, it said 950 plus. The plus sign means it's gonna be more. And uh, it said catering, like it's a catering order. Like, all right. So I got the base pay was not 550 and a 27 dollar tip. So in total, I got 32.56. Let's round it out to 33. That's a 23 dollar difference. So let's go ahead and add that on here. Pop, pop. Still only 75 bucks for the day. I mean, it's a good boost. Thank you very much, corporate office. Sorry to spooky you, reception lady. Receptionist lady. It's just me with a big ass helmet on. I should wear sunglasses too. Then I'll really throw them off. The only part of the, my skin that's exposed is this right here, which I've been meaning to cover up. I actually got a suntan there. I gotta show you guys. Look. That's a fucking suntan right there. You guys see that? I'm trying to point it in the front of the camera. It's got it on both sides. I think I told you guys the story how I was trying to figure out how I got it when I before I found out it was a suntan. I thought it was a bruise. I was like, how did I hit myself? It doesn't hurt. Yeah, then I figured it out. Like, oh, I'm getting burnt. So anyway, the fingers are exposed, this little part is exposed, and then sometimes a part of my face is exposed. But if I wear sunglasses, I cover this up, you don't know who's underneath there. For all you know, it could be the Terminator. Did the drinks survive? Yes, they did. I just noticed I got some frosting on my jacket probably from that uh, big old box this flannel I got is a protective flannel and uh, it's pretty dope I like it but it just it, fade, it faded already where the sun hits bummer doesn't look fresh new and then it kind of like turns into this like brown almost i should have sprayed it down with um this one thing that's supposed to protect material from uh that has no uv protection so it kept keeps its colors longer but oh well probably buy one again but in the future this thing's still solid though. I got a red one and uh and this gray one. Black and gray. So uh you know I got a problem with DoorDash and most of the time I don't hear a notification of when you order. So when I look at my because I look at my phone often. I saw an order and I just panicked because I didn't even see how much time is left. I usually just hit accept. But uh, it was 13, it's 13.50, basically 14 bucks. Let's go ahead and add it, plus 14. But it's a large order. It's going back to North to, to Hollywood. 
said it's a big order seven items kind of one two three four it's like four signature dishes and like three three bowls of rice or three three orders of rice so uh this might have a little extra let's hope so could use some extra tips today so this looks like it's going to be located inside that mall somewhere it was gonna be a mission to find so if it's in there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Google the restaurant and hopefully with that I could get some pictures May is okay pictures pictures oh it looks like it's outside what's around there Wanda Sykes more pictures of the restaurant please uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say it's more up ahead not feeling so too confident with this area Th this mall here it might be over there that matched the terrain more of this picture I gotta find this building here it's gonna be on the other side over there we're gonna cut through here and go back I'll make a left a left turn more up ahead it's in there somewhere this is a challenging part about picking up food at big ass malls. If you've never been there, everything's gonna take forever. Ooh, 16 bucks? Hell yeah, and it's going to the same direction. It's also in there. Let's do it. Plus 16. Finally hit 100 bucks. So I'm gonna park on the on the on the parking lot where the arrows like GPS it shows like where they're really close. Another 13 bucks. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See, I'm getting uh, some stacks here. All right, I'm gonna park in here. I gotta go upstairs and uh, somewhere where I could just walk across or uh, I'm gonna have to take stairs huh damn all right I'm just gonna park right here motorcycle parking we'll figure it out Man, I got close to it. Look, this restaurant's right here, and then this one. Apparently, I'm right next to it, so I just gotta go upstairs. I'm in P1. Escalator, probably a good idea, huh? dude came up to me trying to be helpful he didn't know shit either all right well shake shack Let's see if I can find that picture oh that was in the background okay so I'm, I'm warm I'm getting warm baby see how that's in the background it's gonna be right here somewhere probably this one. Oh, this is it <laughs> I've walked right into it hey see the picture helped all right how do I get in there this is a restaurant lady here uh, that was sweeping she knew what's up she gave me directions on how to get to this next restaurant I gotta go downstairs though to go across damn this place is massive 
I don't ever remember coming here. I'm, I'm sure I have when I used to ditch school. But that was so long ago. This place, I'm sure it's been remodeled plenty of times. Because, yeah, I don't recognize it. I found it. Yeah, for true food, right? Uh, for Emma? Okay, thank you. Fuck, can I buy me one of these? This will crunch my thirst right now. How much is this? Like $10? Yeah, thank you so much. Alright, <laughs> now the mission is going to be finding my scooter. I know I'm on P1, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down to P1. Wait, is that the smartest thing to do? Hold on. Because I could walk to P1 and try to walk across through the parking lot. Or, you know, I just walk across here. I'll come back where, uh, where I walk through. I walk through the top floor, but this is just the lower level. I'll just make my way back, then go downstairs. Oh yeah, I don't get, I don't get too lost. There's a lot of expensive shit too. Look at these Rolexes. He goes down for a quick smash and grab. I'm all covered up. They won't know who I am. Right? <laughs> Yoink! Just kidding. Drive off with a cyber truck. <laughs> Look, they have that shit on uh, display here. Found my bike. That wasn't too long. I think I took a good 15, 13, 15 minutes tops. I got one more pickup. Jersey's bikes. That is, let's bounce. Okay, so first one, confirm pickup. Alright, that's where we're going to go. Navigate me. And also, let's confirm pickup on this one. I got it to 118 to deliver the other one. Alright. Let's get out through this side. Woo woo! That's the sound of the police. I got no ticket. I'm just picking up, baby. You already know how we do it on the motorcycles. All right, so navigation says which way do I go? I'm gonna take a guess and go this way. Ooh, feels good to ride again. I was getting hot. All right. I got the subs. Will I make this light? Nope. All right, let's go around. Start doing these drop offs. Just completed this delivery two minutes past the time I was supposed to deliver it but yep there was no tip <laughs> well I'm glad I took uh, the other deliveries and didn't just focus on this one all right sweet I thought I was going to get some extra for that one. Alright. See, that's I'm so happy I took two more deliveries on Uber Eats. Because I ended up getting 11 and 16. No, wait. Is that how much I was? I added it on the calculator. This one was 13. Then I got add-on for 16 and 13. 
so and then i make it man if i would have done just this one for 13 bucks that would have been a, a bad deal but with those add-ons baby we at 118 and it's 130 all right let's start this dash here in hollywood a lot of tourism right now APD work. Check it out the dog. He's a Dodger fan. Got this $8 pickup at Superba. This is a nice hidden spot here. Next to Tecoya. Couldn't find it immediately. But here we are. Oh, damn. This thing is massive. Sweet. I have a pickup for Tony Z. Okay, so okay. alright, thank you. And I made a change to the order, so it's gonna take a little longer. I'll get some water. Alright, so <clears throat> I sat there waiting like a good seven minutes. It was nice to take a little break. But uh, yeah, I got these two big old bags for these salads. Will it fit? About to find out. All right. Let's try your number one. Number one fits. Number two. Number two fits. All right. So got a park in here. It's a movie studio. It's like closed off. Oh shit, it says parking. Uh, fuck it. I'll be back. I'm taking Todd Aaron or his parking spot. Look at these big old tickets that I got. DoorDash. Catch you guys in a bit. Damn, son. This had a $16 tip in it. Ended up being 20 bucks instead of 8 So I had another $12. Awesome. It was worth a little wait. I kind of want to check out the studio, but then I make a big deal if I start driving off. Excuse me, excuse me. Look, all those studios over there. Thank you, man. All right, take care. We'll see you next time. We'll, we'll do. See ya. I hope there is a next time because, man, my homeboy tips here. All right. It was a very upscale restaurant. You know, those dishes are probably pretty pricey. It's more expensive on the apps, by the way. And then they they even called to like fix an order, so I had to wait. Where am I? Tender Greens is the hot spot. 145, man, I want to take a break already. It's getting hot. I mean, I need some water. Let me buy me a sparkling water. Somewhere real quick. A gas station or something. Man, I got the perfect combination of liquids. It was like seven bucks. Eight bucks, I think. I got a <clears throat> sparkling water, the ones that they had at that restaurant. from the Alta some shit mountains in the US it's just sparkling water right no flavor or anything and then as I was walking out I see you know those little shots that but are like a juice shot they had like immune shots energy shots and then the, I saw ginger shots I was like you know what let me get it I read the back it's 99% uh, 99% juice so I grabbed one of those, no sugar added. I drank a little bit of sparkling water, made some room, and I just poured uh, the shot in there. It was so bomb, so refreshing. 
and there's nothing really in there that's bad for you except the microplastics in the plastic container but <coughs> and whatever that one percent was I'm sure they added that one percent just for longevity in the sh in the shot but super good yeah, I've been getting back-to-back -back bangers on Uber. I'm just letting that thing send me the orders. The first one was uh, for Teriyaki Madness in downtown LA. I got one for 19 bucks. Took that one. Then I got a Pollo Loco for 12, and then I got this that I just dropped off, and then I got one at Troy Burgers for 12 bucks. So 19, 12, and 12 putting me at 192 I'm about to hit 200 so I spoke too soon when I said that my plan didn't isn't working it was just slow in the beginning shit picked up McPherson place that's what that street was called shout out to my boy in uh, New York all right, Troy's Burgers, that's where I'm picking up from. I almost took a break and went home. Cause I was, cause I came back to downtown LA. I'm kind of glad I did not So I was able to make that extra cash. Where should I park it? Right here's perfect. I'm gonna pick up for Denise. They probably just got the order. Yeah, they're still working on it. Alright. Just gonna chill. As I was dropping off this delivery, it was a big, pretty, pretty uh, big order. It was like three or four. It's like food for like three, four people. Maybe five. As soon as I'm dropping it off, I get two bangers on Uber Eats. 33, 33 bucks. I, I got a chance to screenshot it. I'm going to show you guys. Bam! Look at that. 33 bucks. For 9.1 miles. 33.42. Picking up at All About Pokey. And then this other spot. I don't know where the second spot is, but. Ooh, finally hit my 200. I'm at 225 bucks. So it's 3.30, 4.34. I probably work for another hour and a half, two hours. Then I'm gonna go to that group ride. Eep. Holy shit, this fucking truck. I thought he was gonna go right in front of me. But it's looking good, looking good. Man, both of these were just regular deliveries. Shocked to like... Shocked that, I'm shocked that it was like $33 for both. And they're just going to downtown LA. Oh well, no money for me. Cha-ching. Look at her. I want one. That's the daughter? Wrong floor. Bye. <laughs> Those little pugs. <laughs> so this last delivery was mostly base pay. I think the last the base pay was probably on this last delivery, but I don't think there's any way I can check. I waited in front of this dude's door for the whole eight minutes. I waited because I'm like, you know what? It's thirty-three dollars. Might as well just chill. And yeah, look, it's twenty-eight dollars base pay. The rest is probably going to be the tip from uh, from the delivery before this one, because they were both just one item. 
So I think what happened with this delivery is uh no one picked it up. The guy wait because then the guy waited too long, a girl guy or girl, I forgot the name. And the person were just like, ah forget this, you know. <clears throat> Could have been lingering around for a while. Who knows? I don't know. But look, 28 bucks. And then I was probably gonna be like five bucks uh, tip on the on the other delivery I did. Anyways, 418. This group ride starts around six. It takes about 30 minutes to get there. It's in Burbank. Oh, I should take a break. Nah, let's keep going. See how much money I got. 225. Let's get 250. Let's try to get 250. Alright, so I got a couple of good ones. 17 bucks on DoorDash. I gotta pick up at Red Chicks and then Do Dash Mart. It's gonna leave me like in mid city area. Directly south of where I'm supposed to go later on tonight. So it is a little bunch of skateboarders today. Hey, you know, I have been a see I've seen a bunch of skateboarders today. Is it like National Skateboarding Day or something? I'm gonna look it up. Maybe it is. I've seen skaters everywhere. Spots that I normally never see skaters. Let's check. Because there is a. a there is a holiday. National. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up right now. Yep. It's, I was absolutely correct though. Go skateboarding day. Friday, June 21st. Alright. So we're... Um, so it is a national, I should buy my skateboard. Damn. Not like I could skate. I'm like top heavy right now. I'll probably uh, topple over if I try to skate. <laughs> so it's the day after the um, solar solace, solstice. The longest day of summer. Or it probably just lands today on Friday. Jill. <laughs> This fucker almost opened his door on me. Alright, sweet. Skateboarding, that's my first love right there. Then riding two wheels was my second love. What's my third one? Making money. What about fourth? Eh, a few girlfriends here and there. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Hello, I got a pickup for uh, Jose, Joe. For Joe? Yeah. She said eight minutes for chicken and waffle. God damn. I'm just gonna put my scooter in here and sit down. You know, I said I needed a break. Might as well take it right here. Just relax for a bit. My phone's at 37%. I should have brought my external battery. Oh shit, I'm stuck. There we go. Perfect. Keep an eye on my scooter while I chill. He's got a couple offers. 18 bucks for Uber Eats. If I can get these, if they're ready, I'm taking them. If not, I'm just gonna roll. It's just walking distance. I already got the DoorDash delivery. It's at the White Elephant. Oh, I see two orders. I a couple pickups. both of them 
All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh shit. Hell yeah, baby. Quick 18 bucks. She was just wrapping it up too, huh? Good timing. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'll confirm pickup. I'm gonna go get that dash mark and then I'll do these two drops and it gives me more than enough time to do these DoorDash deliveries. We're making money today. These, these might actually be my last ones. Maybe. Let's see. Plus 18. 260. That's basically what my goal was. Ooh, there's dog shit. Hopefully I didn't step on any. Guys, you won't believe what this next delivery is, is a, a Dash Mart. It's my nemesis. Now, it, uh, my nemesis is a 12-pack of 24-ounce water bottles. I hate carrying that. It's three of them. All right, here's my next question. What's the address? 5200? Oh, no, it's at an apartment. Nope, this is getting canceled. Uh, damn. So, yeah, I'm going to have to take an L on the completion rate. It's, uh, I'm at 100%. Uh, let me just check. Ratings. Yeah, completion rate at I'm at 100%. I do not want to carry three 24 packs of waters up to the seventh floor. I mean, it won't be upstairs, a probably elevator, but that, I have to pick it up, take it to the lobby, get access or get security. So I got to put them down, then pick them up again, then put them down again in front of the elevator, then put them in the elevator, and then pick them up again, and then walk. Who knows how long? Because this building could be a big building. I don't know for so much was this uh, these two it was 16 bucks for two I put it in my calendar let's see I put 17 bucks for two if I cancel one I'll probably lose some money but not a lot it's it's a gamble but yeah I don't know what do you guys think I could carry them I could put them right here. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Don't want to carry them though. And look, if I take them to the vent, to the to the apartments, I could just leave them in the lobby. But then they'll probably give me a bad rating. I still got time to make a decision. Man, let's cancel that shit. Nobody got time to be carrying those. Big old boxes, Dash Mart. I have an issue. It's something else. Uh, unassigned with no pay. Completion rate will be affected. Yep. All right. What's the reason? Dash and soon. I have too many orders. Accidentally accepted the order. Customer changed the address. Order is making me late orders not worth my pay there we go orders not worth my pay bam it's off so now this next delivery oh get thank god it's closer too so i got until five o'clock so i got 20 minutes 20 20 minutes to deliver these two from Uber Eats that i got first ah, that's a good call and then when I deliver, I'll let you guys know how much it was. How much less I got. Alright, I'm here at my first drop-off location. Just go knock it out real quick. So glad I didn't get those water bottles. So I got here just in time. Literally, by like on the minute. It's already a minute past the time I was supposed to be here. 
but I love how this this delivery was a no tip delivery and in between this delivery I had that oh by the way I only got eight bucks for it out of 17 that was 750 base pay so I'm just rounding it off anyway it's been a few times already where I end up accepting deliveries that are like on the way and those deliveries end up actually making the whole thing worth it because at the end those t those deliveries uh were zero tip so it's good because i got to not intentionally but because it took longer i increased my pay with prop 22 money and second if they didn't tip they had to wait No, ex no expedited services for y'all so that's dope feels good inside it's kind of like a win you know for us because we're still getting prop 22 money we got to take our sweet ass time and we still got money for accepting other deliveries all right well look let me give y'all an update so let me subtract the 17 and only add 8 251 that's how much i have i am technically at like a good amount like i hit a pretty good goal so far but i'll give you guys an update before i get to this meetup i'm gonna let i'm gonna let uh, some time go by what time is it right now it's 504 i could probably squeeze in one more Maybe. If I get one on, on Uber, then I'll, I'll squeeze it in. Alright, y'all. Took two more. They're going to DTLA. After these two, done. It was like 14 bucks extra. It made up for those water bottle deliveries. Big time. My phone's at 23%. Summertime is not friendly to phones. But once I stop doing deliveries, it's, uh, I'll be able to charge this phone up because every time I get off of the scooter, it's not charging and I got the screen on. Full blast. Full brightness. Full brightness and uh, yeah, it just drains the battery. So right now what I'm going to do, what, what's the address? I'm gonna put it the navigation on here. I just turn my phone off. There you go. Boom. Either way, I know where I'm going. Did it work or what? Oh my gosh. Navigate. There we go. We are headed to the meetup. Uh, this thing hasn't started blinking low fuel. I'm already on my last bar, 123 miles in. So I'll give you guys a quick update. I have 180 on DoorDash. I mean, on Uber Eats. And this is without whatever tips I got. And then uh, today. Oh man, I'm not gonna add that up. But uh, according to my guesstimation, I got about 265 bucks today. That's wild because I only worked like about nine hours today. And then, um, oh damn, I just messed my zipper up. Uh, the last couple of days was when I didn't have platinum status. I was working 11 12 hours and barely making 200 bucks so yeah 265 and it's friday so it is a good day damn what the hell happened to my zipper hold on guys i'm having a little malfunction here i don't want to mess the zipper up yeah I got my zipper back up so 
green, 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 green. All right, let's go. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so nine hours, I made 265. I'm sure if I stay till nine o'clock, I'll make 300. Maybe even more than that because dinner is Friday. Uh, I'll probably get some pretty good orders. But because I'm taking a couple hours off early today so I can go ride, go on a group ride, hang out, just relax, socialize a bit. Um, these, 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 uh, the group I'm going to, they, they're all scooter uh, fans, they, they uh, enthusiasts. And I'm going to be able to ask them about Scooter Cannonball. See if any of, any of them are registering or if they've gone in the past. What the hell? I hear sirens. Alright, I didn't know where that shit was coming from. Anyway, it's going to be exciting. I can't wait. Uh, I am going to I am gonna record it. Oh, I got a motorcyclist behind me. Oh, shit. Let's see if I can... Uh, those guys on it <laughs> I usually don't try to drive too fast to here because I don't have a, a muffler an exhaust where people can hear me coming so I give myself enough speed so people can like so I can stop on time just in case someone gets in front of me like this car right here look at him <laughs> he's gone all right well that takes away the pressure Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go hit up this group ride. Uh, I'll probably document parts of it. Also got my 360 camera. So if you guys want to check out some of those videos, follow me on Instagram. I have the link in my in, in, to my Instagram in the description. Oh yeah, let's see how many miles I got today. Actually, I'm just gonna let my phone charge. I don't wanna turn the screen on. Well guys, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna work a bit tomorrow, half a day. So I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. And if you guys are hearing this, check out the link or look it up, Scooter Cannonball. Let me, let me know if you guys, uh, what do you guys think about it? Alright guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.